Hey lovelies, so welcome back to the channel. I have a video that I think you guys will really enjoy. It has been a hot minute since I've done a monthly favorites for you. And February, guys, I got some things and I have a lot of favorites. I have some clothing, I have some hair things, some beauty things, um, lots of pink things, and then also some fun shoes as well, gearing up for spring. So stick around, see what I got, see if you like any of them as well. I'll have everything listed down below. You can always shop those links. If you do so, I do make an itsy bitsy commission on those, which is always so greatly appreciated. Let's get into what my favorites were from February. So first up is this beautiful blush faux fur rose bag. Oh my goodness. This is from Stony Clover Lane and guys, I am obsessed. So they came out with the cozy collection and immediately I was like, I gotta have it. Um, I kind of was just like waiting because I'm not gonna lie, this stuff's a little bit on the pricier side, but I am so glad that I made this splurge because it is so freaking soft. I absolutely love it. It looks like it's a struggle for me to lift because it's currently my work bag. So I got my computer and a whole bunch of makeup and other things in here. But anyways, it's just a pretty rose blush color. It's so, so soft. It does have here on the handles, it has like leather on the inside. So it's like gives it more of a sturdy feel. There also is a zipper close top and it comes with a crossbody strap as well, which it comes in really handy on these heavier bag days because I can just throw it over crossbody style and it takes the weight off of like the one shoulder so much better. But I absolutely love this thing. I've been using it ever since I got it in. And another bag that came with the purchase, I bought it at the same time. So another Stony Clover, but this was collabed with Love Shack Fancy. I absolutely love like the floral little print. It's vegan leather. And then the patches I ordered separately from Stony Clover, but then you like stick them on as well. So I got a little heart there in the back. And then of course I made it say queen cause I'm a queen. Moving on to a new hair product that I absolutely love and I was a little worried to try it out, um, but I got the T3 Single Pass Curling Iron and of course I got it in the Blush Rose and it has rose gold trimming there. It is absolutely beautiful. I really, really love this. So why I said I was a little bit nervous at first, I already own the T3 um, interchangeable wand hair tool. And so instead of buying a brand new curling iron, I ordered the clip attachment that you could stick into that barrel instead. And it's just, I ended up sending it back because my hair would always get caught into the seam. But I'm fine with this one. My hair doesn't get caught. Maybe I figured out a better way to curl my hair. I'm not really sure, but she's pink. So that's a win-win. Um, yeah, it's really great. You just click it over and it'll turn it on and then you hold it over to basically turn off. It remembers your last setting that it was on. It has an auto shut off, but I really love this baby. And it really does a pretty damn good job at keeping my hair curled. I have such fine hair in general that my hair is really hard to like get a curl to last. So she does a pretty good job. Let's talk about a real pretty dress that I got from Red Dress Boutique. Guys, I am in love with this. It's so springy and the floral print of it, it is just beautiful. I'm too lazy to put it on right now, but as you can see, it's like a longer kite, kind of like a midi length or whatever, and then it's buttoned down all the way in the front. You have like the cute little ruffles around the top and then here at the tier at the bottom, and it's just so lightweight. It's soft and sheer, and it is just super, super cute. When I wore it to my first wedding dress try on, guys, that's a whole other story in itself. Trying on wedding dresses is so much fun. They're beautiful. You feel like a princess, like, I love it. But anyways, I wore this to the first one because of course, white, duh. So if you maybe will pick up, I'm probably going to be wearing a lot of more white, a lot more lacy, especially white lace. Um, yeah, I just am like drawn to it now. One more dress that I got from Red Dress as well. I haven't got a chance to actually wear this yet. 
but this cute little pink one. Oh my gosh, can we talk about all of the girly vibes here? So it definitely has like more little ruffled tiered layers. It's sheer and like lightweight. This is a three, four sleeve, but it's kind of like, it's not balloon, but it's like a blousey sleeve. The back though, um, it's a keyhole and it's super adorable on. I just think it's so so pretty it comes in a lot of different prints as well in case you're not a fan of the blush little floral print but obviously i am <laughs> oh and the first pair of shoes i want to show you i actually wore with the white dress to the wedding dress little try on and it's these shoes from dsw and they are for the c by chloe dupes the espadrilles these are so comfortable and they are like Seriously, no joke. As far as being like a dupe, they look amazing. So they're from DSW and they're the brand Nicole. And it's just like a classic little wedge. They are so comfortable though. I feel like it's because it's not as high of a slant. So that's what makes it. But even here, like it has the threading, like the embroidery around the flower and the edging there. DSW does have a, another pair that's very, very similar as far as for a dupe, but the difference there from the C by Chloe's, the designer ones, they have the stitching as well. The other brand from DSW does not have the stitching. So it has the same cutout design, but that's the only difference. Also, I wanna say the color. This is more of a like actual tan shade, more brown tan looking, whereas the C by Chloe is more of a like burnty orange tan I guess more on the cam like like camel side um but yeah they come in I think they had them in black as well they didn't have them at the location I got these but I think they also have them in a blush so you can find them online they do have them there okay one of my absolute favorites like this is like at the top like the top top of my face from February this makeup train case oh my gosh she is just so flipping beautiful it's from the brand hollis and i'm not gonna lie never heard of it but i found it on instagram with people that i follow i saw it posted in a photo and i was like i need her because it's rose gold it's like that shiny metallic and i just love leopard like leopard yes thank you i love it i ordered this this is way way bigger than i expected i'm not gonna lie like look at how tall and how thick like she just she's a deep train case right i also thought the little tassels zipper tabs were so adorable it makes it easy to just get undone um but yeah when you open it up you have a, another zipper pocket up here. So I like when I traveled just the other week, I just threw in like some hair accessories in there. That way they're stored nice and neat. And then also it already came with a brush canister. It's the matching one. You can order the brush canister by itself or you can do it where it's this combo set or they also have like, if you're more of a cosmetic bag, they have, I think it's like three different sizes in an actual cosmetic bag. I own so many darn cosmetic bags that I didn't need it. That's why I decided to do the train case. But yeah, the inside, I have some makeup in here right now, but this that like pink blush interior, it's just so beautiful. It's very luxe feeling, like it's just so soft to the touch and it's easily like wipeable. Just with a makeup wipe, baby wipe, a little sanitizing wipe, anything like it's easy to just wipe it clean. Cause of course the Could first day I that? used- Could you try again? Not talking to you Siri. But anyways, um, yeah, the first day of course when I used it, I got it dirty from my pencil sharpener, but anyways, it just came right off. I almost forgot, so thank you Siri for interrupting me because I wanted to show you guys my Apple Watch band. It's so adorable. It is this like leopard scrunchie and I got it off of Amazon. I just think it is so fun. I love scrunchies, hello. Um, Yeah, I just, it's so easy to take on and off and you can easily wash this baby. I mean, I would be careful what I wouldn't throw it in the washer, but you can just, hand wash it, lay it out to dry, it's totally fine. They come in different prints and solid colors too. I just think it's super, super fun because scrunchies are definitely like 
on trend right now. The only thing I'd say is that it doesn't fit extremely tight. It's not like the watch flips over to the backside of my wrist or anything. It just is a little loose. If you're someone that likes it like super tight, like as if you had a buckle on it, then it might not be the band for you. But for funsies, it's cute. So you know how I said I was drawn to a lot of white and lacy things? Well, jackpot. I got this beautiful little baby doll eyelet top. It is so, so freaking cute. So again, I saw my girl Karen, actually when she was here in Orlando and we were able to hang out and have lunch, she was wearing this and I was obsessed. So of course, immediately I had to go and order it off of Nordstrom's. Luckily, I will say I normally would have ordered a size small. This is a size medium and it totally looks fine on me. It doesn't look crazy big. It's probably a little extra flowy, but it doesn't make you look large or that you're trying to hide anything or anything like that. I love like the square little neck hole there. And then it has the same cut there in the back. It's just a little bit deeper. And then the flutter sleeves, they're so pretty and it's just so cute. It's so spring. Love it, love it, love it. My last favorite is another pair of shoes from Nordstrom's. So I'm not necessarily a big sandal girl. I thought these were so, so pretty. I'm trying to wear more. So I live in Florida. I wear flip flops all the time. Flip flops aren't dressy. So I'm trying to, that's like a goal maybe for 2020. I need to find cute flats that are either like a nice sandal or maybe like a closed toe espadrille style. I'm not really a loafer gal, like they just look weird on me. But anyways, if you got some recommendations, let me know below. But these, I think they're so, so pretty. They are from the brand Seashells. Leather is, again, super soft. Haven't actually worn these besides around the house to try them out, but it just feels like so supple and soft and like that they'll mold to your foot after wearing. And I just love the blush color. So I hope you lovelies have enjoyed my favorites from February. If you did, please let me know down below what your absolute favorite item was from this little haul. I always love hearing from you guys. If you liked the haul in general, please give it a thumbs up. That's always so greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can just hit the button right there in the center and you want to hit the bell that's down below because that'll keep you notified every single time I upload a video and you can check those videos out right there on the side. Until next time, I will see you lovelies then. Bye!